Hi, my name is Danielle and I work with our customers here at Priority Matrix. I see that you are a fan of the bullet journal, so I have put together a plan so that you can quickly and efficiently implement the bullet journal into its new home on Priority Matrix. Now, I'm going to help you transition step by step by creating a method of organization for you. With bullet journaling, I understand that creating an index is vital so that you can locate everything that you need. In Priority Matrix, simply look under your project list. Everything that you have in your specific project will be conveniently stored inside of here. For example, let's say that I was an independent project manager. As you can see, under my projects list or index, some of my projects include budget enforcement, marketing, team leadership activities, and growth. This way, I have a very clear bird's eye view of everything that is going on. At the bottom, I also have a project to separate my personal life from my work life. And I have a SWOT analysis and a retroactive analysis. This is excellent for independent project managers and there are templates for each of them on Priority Matrix. With bullet journaling, I know that you have signals like the left arrow, right arrow, the dot bullet for tasks, open bullet for events, dash for notes, and asterisk to symbolize importance. Priority Matrix has an entire collection of icons and symbols that you can use to symbolize all of these too. In order to add your icon, click on the task. In the top left hand corner of the task, click on any icon of your choice. One great thing to keep in mind is that with Priority Matrix, you do not have to create an icon to symbolize notes because under each task, you can add notes just by clicking on C notes. Another thing is that I understand that some things are way more important than anything else and we definitely did not forget about those things here at Priority Matrix. So to the top left of your icon, you will see a little star. You can star your item to show that it is super important. If you are a business user, we will send you a Priority Matrix tag report, which will show you the items that you follow that are unfinished and starred. Just another way to help you stay on top of things. The icons and starring function will help you to stay visually organized. You might have also noticed that you could add tags to your events. This is a great way to categorize similar tasks. Tasks are just like collections. They make sure that your tasks and events are located neatly under specific topics. With Priority Matrix, you can set task start dates, due dates, as well as monitor your progress. All you need to do is click on your project and you will see the progress and due date functions. Customize them to your needs. Please note that you can also mark tasks as reoccurring. For example, if you have to do something quarterly, just click repeat and decide how long you want to repeat it for. Once your task is done, there's no need to write an X. All you have to do is mark the task as complete. To do this, just check it off. You can also migrate your tasks just like you would with the left arrow of the bullet journal. All you have to do is drag your task to another project and move it to the quadrant that it should be in. There it is, and I'm gonna move it over to critical and urgent. Another thing that I would like to note is that you should keep your bullet points, or in this case, task and event descriptions, very brief. As I've noted, you can elaborate on the task or event under the notes section of the task, and you can also add files and put screenshots up. Now, let's take a look at the master list capability. The master list will show you your tasks across all projects so that you do not have to spend time switching from one project or task to another. When I get into the office every day, I click on my master list and I look at my tasks that are due today. If I want to look a little bit into the future, I can also look at this week's tasks. A great thing about the master list is that you do not have to enter things more than once. This is less time consuming because with the bullet journal, you often end up rewriting tasks multiple times. As I all mentioned, the master list is created for you based on due dates. For example, if I look at tasks on my master's list that are due today, it effectively replaces the daily log from the bullet journal. In place of the monthly log, 
You could use the modify filter to sort it out for the next month by going to the filter button and then to show items with a modified date. Choose the dates that you would like to be shown. The same thing goes with future log too as you can modify by date. At the top of your screen you will see the filter button which allows you to determine what you want to look at right now. This is the same filter button that I just showed you. Keep in mind that you can also filter by not only what you the due date is, but based on criteria such as finished or unfinished, item name, item tags, and more. Using the filtering function will save you time and it ensures that you do not lose anything. Please note, if you like to see the big picture of things, take a look at our calendar function. You can also take a look at our Gantt chart. Everything will be laid out right in front of you. Now, I would like to go into a little bit more detail about the Gantt chart. It is a way for you to visualize your project timeline. This is good for when you are heavily planning a project because it allows you to, to plan for the long term. It is based on the start and ending of tasks and it shows how long your project will take. What I like is that on your projects, you can switch views between the Gantt chart, the calendar, and the quadrants. You can also organize it by month, day, week, Two. Now, if you're like me, you do not want to spend 30 minutes going through papers to find that one important paper that you were looking for. Like I said, Priority Matrix has everything all in one place. So if you're looking for a specific task or event, simply use our search function. Now, there's no need to spend 30 minutes skimming through your papers. You can find what you need within 30 seconds. There it is. Last but not least, I also wanted to bring up that you can integrate Priority Matrix with Evernote. You can also integrate Priority Matrix with Apple Mail, Outlook, and Gmail. We have specific articles that will explain this step-by-step -step on our help page. I'm so happy that you want to try out Priority Matrix. Let us know if you have any questions or would like us to make more tutorials as we want it to be the best fit for you. Have a great day and stay productive.